Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to delete an image along with data from the database. So before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. So this was our code. So in previous video, we discussed about how to update an image. So in this video, we'll be doing the edit part. So let us go to the output. So this was the output. We'll create one button here for delete. So for that, before that, let's change this to delete. Go back to home.php here, change this to delete. And here, give a table header as delete image and here give one td copy paste and remove this give this name as delete image so now let us go and reload you can see delete image let me change the color to danger and now let us go and reload you can see delete image when i click on this image it has to take this ID and delete this data. That is first thing. And here from uploads folder also, it has to get deleted. So what we are doing is, here we'll create a form of post. Inside this form, we'll cut and paste this. Here we will create one input of text and give the value is equal to this id we are going to take the id and give the name as id and yes that's it now let us go and so here instead of anchor tag we'll just give this in a button let us cut this and type button so here make type as submit and give class btn btn danger and give one name for this button as delete image and here display delete image. now let us go and reload here you can see you are getting this id so we will be taking this id and deleting as well as we will take the image name also so for that what we have to do is create another input tag and both will be hidden so here i am just giving the name as image and here instead of id make this to image now let us go and reload you can see you are getting the image name so using this both id and image name we'll be doing but here we will not show this but internally we'll be using those two things we'll change the type to hidden for both the thing and now let us copy this delete button and go to code.php with the post method so copy and go to code.php here we have the update scroll down give if condition and tell is set of dollar post of the button name so once that button is clicked what has to happen it has to take the id and delete so what we'll do here is create a variable is equal to id is equal to dollar post of id here this id is coming from here and we have image so let us go to code.php copy paste this and change this to image now create a variable delete image query is equal to delete from students is a table name so here also we are going to write a delete each id not the whole thing 
we are going to delete individual data so give a where condition where id is equal to dollar id and again give delete image query run is equal to using my sqli query function just connect your database and pass this delete image query variable don't forget to give the semicolon and after this we are just going to echo using session we will be printing so if this is working fine if that query delete image query run is working fine then show the success message and delete the image that is there in upload folder else show failed message so here dollar session of status is equal to image deleted successfully and redirect back to header location location which is home.php give a semicolon copy paste the same thing for the else and change the text here image not deleted success fully and this will be redirecting back to home page itself so here once the image is deleted we have to remove the image from uploads folder right so what we'll do is using unlink function you can just remove that here give your folder name uploads and give a slash then concatenate that with this image so copy this image and paste give a semicolon so that's it this is a code for deletion let us go test our code here go back reload you can see delete image so i'm going to delete user 2 before that you we have used session make sure you start the session on top here and we have given home.php check once if session is started in home.php so here we have the session message and session is started now let us go and test our code reload once again and click on delete image so here you can see hey image deleted successfully let us go check our uploads folder you can see that image got deleted and you can check your database as well reload you can see that user 2 got deleted so that's it in this video i hope this video was helpful and if you have any doubt or suggestion let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching